Hi everyone, this is Shannon from the Irishscrapper.com and today we are going to make this beautiful uh, birthday card using a few different stamp sets, stamp sets and um, some different colors. Um, so let's go ahead and show you um, what it takes to create this. I am using a piece of peekaboo peach. This is four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. I have a piece of Whisper White that is cut four by five and a quarter. That's going to be our top layer. I just have a scrap piece of Peekaboo Peach to do our sentiment. And then I've already die cut um, the largest jar, and I will show you here, from the Everyday Jars Framelits. I took this largest jar and cut it out in the Marina Mist. And then the stamp sets that we were using... Of course, you would definitely need the Tranquil Tulips. That is a hostess set. So if you place a $150 order or a combination of orders from family and friends in my online store, you can earn this set. Um, I'm using a sentiment from Lift Me Up. I like this happy birthday here. So I'm just using those two words. And then from the tabs for everything, which is in our current annual catalog, there is a to you here. Um, so you could use a sentiment from any set that you have on hand. It's completely up to you. Um, I am going to stamp the jar from Jar of Love, but this is not a required step to the project. It's just something that I'm going to do, so I'll show you that. And then the ink colors that we are using are Wild Wasabi, Berry Burst, Peekaboo Peach, Flirty Flamingo, and the Archival Basic Black. And then that jar that I mentioned that I'm going to stamp that's not required, I'm going to stamp it in the Marina Mist. Um, so I will show you that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you wanted to um, pop up your jar, I would definitely recommend stamping the jar um, below this image. So then when you put the dimensionals behind it, you know, you would see that same color underneath. I just think that makes the 3D effect, you know, look more realistic. So I am going to ink up that jar in the Marina Mist. And I am going to stamp that down here in the center of our Whisper White layer. And this also will kind of give you an idea um, of your stems as you're placing those for um, your tulips. Open up that wild wasabi. And this takes a little bit to kind of figure out placement. Um, so each card that you do will probably be, be different. But you want to leave room you know, depending on the size of your tulip. So I'm going to do one here. I'm going to come in and do one a little bit lower. And then with this stem, I'm going to now manipulate it to go the other way. So I'm just going to turn that on my block. six tulips. Close up that wild wasabi. So with the tulip um, stamp set we are going to be using this one here. So this is the background. This is the top. I'm going to stamp off. So I'm going to grab myself a scratch piece of paper and then I think we will start with our peekaboo peach. I'm going to take that background stamp I'm going to stamp off, and then I'm going to come in here and do my flowers off the edge. Open up my peekaboo, or I'm sorry, flirty flamingo. Now we'll get our berry burst open. We're going to go ahead and do that top um, stamp. And what I have found is that depending on the color, 
tone that you want to go, you can stamp this over and over again and it will give you a deeper um, color on your flower. So we are actually going to pop a couple of our flowers up and you will see um, that I've stamped those multiple times to get a little bit deeper color tone. So, let me close these up. Little dots for our tulips. We're going to use the archival um, basic black for that. And then I have already um, stamped and fussy cut out four tulips. I'm just going to add our dots now to those as well. Okay, and we're getting very close here now to assembling. So I have a piece of our burlap ribbon. So it comes in a roll like this, and you can just snip up the edge of the trim here, and then all of these pieces will just come off beautifully. So I have two of those strands already separated, and we are going to use that to wrap around our our marina mist jar okay and now we can go ahead and begin assembling so I'm gonna take my top layer that laid down my peekaboo peach just like that this one now, like I said, if you wanted to um, add dimensionals, you can raise that. And because we've stamped it below, you know, you'll get that shadow look on the edge. So I think it just looks more realistic that way. But again, it's completely up to you. On my original, I just laid this completely flat, um, did not pop it up. So I think that's what we'll do again. So I'm just going to cover that. I just wanted to show you that option, okay? And now we have our four tulips that I've already stamped. And you can tell instantly the difference in the tone here because I stamped that top layer um, twice on the ones that we are going to pop up. Okay, I have my peekaboo um, peach there and I'm going to open up this berry first and we are going to use that happy birthday from the lift me up and I'm just going to try to ink up the happy birthday here that actually looks pretty good okay and then I'm going to stamp that And then I have that to you from the tabs for everything. We can stamp that right under our happy birthday. And then we are going to take our snips and just flag the ends here. Oops. And then that is going to just go over our card, just like this. Okay. And that completes our card. So you can see what I mean. Every one of them um, looks different depending on your placement of your stems. Um, so I've really enjoyed this Hostess set. I think this is one of my favorites that I've seen so far. Um, from Stampin' Up. I love the two-step and the three-step and the ones that look like watercolor. Um, so I do hope that you enjoyed today's video and as always if you'd like to purchase any of the products um, in today's video just visit the description 
and I do have a full supply list there. You can also visit my website at theirishscrapper.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to being back with you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.